Welcome back. I'm excited to continue episode four. Let me fix the frame. That is good. All right. Excited to keep going. Let's get that sound up. Let's keep going. Awesome. Back at Blackwell. Haven't seen them together before. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Yo. Chloe. <laughs> Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. Uh, it's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. Mm. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. So is he going to finally stop bugging Me about too. that fucking contest? I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. <laughs> I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Seems like he was flirting with her a little bit. Hot for teacher. Gross! <laughs> you are out of control. Oh my Not God. yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignorant. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Since I'm here, I'll see if we can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Is that a fucking butterfly on the shirt? Enough with the symbolism. <laughs> Alright, I didn't really hear what she just said. I can't even look at this dude? Whatever. It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. He sounds so stoned. Uh, speak to Daniel. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Says who? That says who, dude. I love your drawing. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. Ah, I do feel better now. You are good, Max. <laughs> okay. End of the world party. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Hmm. Uh, go to the party, don't go to the party. I don't know. I'm not into parties myself, so I can understand. Don't go to the party. Go to the stupid party, That's whatever. That's exactly why you should go to that party. Who cares? We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Yeah. Not with you to wreck me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. What the hell? Okay, so I guess he's going to this party. Uh, talk about Kate. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anybody, Max. <laughs> I don't but, talk uh, to anybody. I did actually have a conversation with Brooke. She was very sad about Kate. So am I. And angry. We should stop going to class and stage a protest. Uh, but that's not going to happen at Blackwell. Yet. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if 
I can start the revolution from my scotchboard, Max. Yeah, well, I'm fine. There's one left. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but... Is it suspended or expelled? Because they're not the same fucking thing. That, okay, the picture is cute. <laughs> What's with the pig nose? Okay, whatever. He's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Let's talk later. Oh. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Okay, so we learned some info. Look at the window again. That's what I get for helping Alyssa. A broken window. I bet it's that stupid broken window that caused this freaking uh, tornado after all. <gasps> My sweet Kate. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, I'm afraid that talking to her might end the scene, so I'm gonna look around a little first. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. I'm right here, you know. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? Uh... Whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense, he asked you. Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. I'm not interested in your stupid drone. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. And it sounds like Come you're on, super jelly about it. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but... He should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. What the fuck? I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I believe. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive. That's so ironic that I just stand here and say the same things. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Not like they don't own all the original apes, though. Uh, okay, how do I take it? How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Uh, how do you, how, 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 how do I do Maybe that? Maybe I should have asked Warren to go. Whatever. Can't do anything. All right, let's talk. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Yeah. Sad. Makes me mad. Climb how are you doing, Max? been a tough week, I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. <laughs> Not really. I just feel like I have to talk to everybody. Arcadia Bay and animals. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Uh-huh. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Mm -hmm. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I uh, I can't talk to this dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I better get going now. It changes. He really lives. does weird me out. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I guess I'll talk to her too. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Mm -hmm. Talk about Kate. A recent events. Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate is the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. 
Do you need to talk to a counselor? Nah. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for us. <laughs> she went all like ghetto black on us. Well, shut down that, get that damn Vortex Club, honky. <laughs> I don't mean to get riled up. That oh my god, that was funny. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Oh my god, Prescott's. Do the Prescott's have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, oh, you suck. Oh my god. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Time to be casual ninjas. Again. <laughs> Gonna snoop through Nathan's room. This should be interesting. Lord knows what he's got in there. Wait, they're going into the boys' dorm. We haven't seen So lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Yeah. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Yeah. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Bat Max. <laughs> now I just have to find Nathan's room. So this is the boys' area? Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. Apparently Logan missed this poster. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I hear talking. Big Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Okay, so... This can only be Nathan's room. Yeah, but let me look around first. Anything exactly that I can do? The boys' area seems significantly smaller than the girls' area. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. <laughs> of course not. People don't learn. Not much to see. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. You can tell it's skunkweed just by smelling it? Hmm. How do you know that exactly? How would you have that information? Alright, um... Go in, I guess. Oh wait, hold that thought actually. Go to the next part.